So now we're going to talk about differentials and some applications of differentials. So the differential refers to the independent variable dx in the equation dy equals f prime of x dx, where both dy is the dependent variable and both x and dx uh, is, where well, excuse me, where dy is the dependent variable for both x and dx, okay, who are both your independent variables. dx refers to the instantaneous change in x, and dy is going to be the change in y that corresponds to dx. And the whole point of a differential is, again, it's going to be an approximation. Like the linear approximations or linearizations, this is an approximation. It's going to be a, an approximation for the change in y between two values for a function. Okay, So we're going to have to also introduce some other uh, notation. So related to this is the function delta y equals f of x plus delta x minus f of, minus f of x where delta y is the change in y, and then delta x is going to be the change in x. And you're going to see this kind of notation around a lot too. Um, delta x is going to refer to very, uh, uh, in a very similar way to dx, except for like dx is going to be a changing variable, and delta x is going to be kind of fixed, okay? And then delta y is just this calculation, right? It's the calculation based upon a cha some change in x minus the original function f of x. So dy is an estimation for delta y. And as delta x gets smaller, dy is going to become a better and better approximation for delta y. For example, let's compare the values for delta y and dy for y equals f of x equals x squared minus 7 from 2 to 2.05 and 2 to 2.01. So first thing that I want to do is we'll do first for 2 to 2.05. Okay, so I'm going to find the differential. Well, first, I actually want to figure out what my delta x is and what my dx is going to be. So um, rem recall that delta y is going to equal f of x plus delta x, okay, minus f of x. All right. So we need to figure out what delta y, delta x is, but you can see what delta x is by just comparing two and two point zero five. The difference. So delta x is the difference in our y's. So that's going to end up being, you can see it's going to be 0 0.05. So that's delta x. And that actually is going to end up equaling dx. Delta x equals dx, which equals 0 0.05 in this first instance. Okay? All right. So now delta y is going to equal f of 2.05 minus f of 2. Okay? And we can go in and calculate that. And that ends up equaling 0 0.2025. Great. Now, our dy is going to equal, it'll be the derivative of x squared minus 7, so that's going to be 2x, okay, dx. We'll plug in our x, so our x is at uh, 2, okay, so this is going to be dy equals 2 times 2, all right, because that's our original value, that's going to be our x, 2 times 2 times 0 0.05, okay. And that'll end up equaling 0.2. So that's our first estimation. Let's do that again. Okay. We'll take uh, delta y now, but we're going to do it 2 to 2.01. So delta y will equal f of 2.01 minus f of 2. This ends up equaling 0 0.0401. And our dy. Thus, is going to end, end up being, again, dy will be 2x dx. And so we'll let dy equal 2 times 2. But now, in this case, our delta x, okay, which equals dx, is going to be 0 0.01, which equals 0 0.04. Now, notice the difference in these. So the comparison, if we took delta y, in this case, minus dy, we get 0 0.2025 minus 0 0.2, which equals 0 0.025. Okay, that's a pretty good close estimation, right? That's within a, a little less than three hundredths of uh, whatever value that we're looking for. So 0 0.025 is, is the error, okay? On the other hand, let's now look at what our second side. So delta y minus dy is going to equal right? 0 0.0401 minus 0 0.04, which equals 0 0.0001. So 
So that's actually now really, really close. So we got a lot closer. Delta Y got a lot closer to dy, okay, by utilizing this estimation. Pardon me. This is actually 0.0025. There's two of them. And so the big thing is, is that when dx, okay, gets small, dy becomes a better and better estimation, okay? So big point here, right? We've got uh, our delta y is our change in y, and dy is going to be an estimate for delta y, okay? All dy is, is dy is equal to the derivative of our function times dx, okay? And dx is the difference between, and delta x are both the difference between our two values. Uh, like in this case, 2 and 2.05, it would be a 0 0.05, okay? And so that is like here, that dx, right? And that's how we utilize dx and we compare it between dx and delta y, right? Kind of giving us a sense that dy is that estimation. So let's say, for example, you're an engineer and you want to figure out the radius of a circular disk is 24 centimeters with a maximum error and measurement of 0.2 centimeters. Use differentials to calculate the maximum error and the calculated error of the disk. Okay, so we want what we want to get here is a couple of things. One is, is that our x value, okay, is our radius, we'll call it r, right, is going to equal, so x will equal r, is going to be 24 centimeters. That's going to be the size of the, the disk. And our maximum error of measurement for the radius, so our dr, is going to be 0.2, okay? Now we're going to use differentials to calculate the maximum error and the calculated error of the disk. So we need an f, okay? Um, and that should be... Um, in the area of the disk. So we just need that our F of R, okay, which, right, is our area, A, um, is gonna equal pi R squared. So our differential, call it DA, is gonna equal two pi R DR. Okay, that's all it is. That's all we're, all we're dealing with. And so consequently, what we get now is we get that DA, our error is gonna be two times pi times 0.2, excuse me, 2 times pi times 24 times 0.2. And so consequently, that's going to give me nine point six pi centimeters. And that's it. That is our estimate for the error in the area of the disk. In the area of the disk. Now we have some related notions here. We have something called a relative error. And the relative error is the amount of error as it pertains to the actual area of the disk. Because you might think to yourself, you know what, 9.6 pi, that's a really big error, okay? Well, this is gonna end up being dA over A, okay? And any relative error is actually gonna be computed in a very similar way. We're gonna actually take the um, differential, we'll divide it by the total, okay? So this is gonna be 9.6 pi divided by, okay, pi, times 24 squared, because that's pi r squared. And this ends up giving us 0 0.01667. So it's actually a fairly small relative error, right? To the entirety of the size of the disk, right? So the bigger that you get your disk, the less an error is actually gonna matter if the error is small. The bigger the error gets, obviously, the bigger that relative error is gonna be, because it's gonna be the numerator, okay? But that's basically what a relative error is. It's like, let's make a comparison to something that is, you know, concrete or that we know about, all right? And in fact, in fact, that's generally what it means to be relative. The so thus we also end up with this idea of the percentage error, and that's basically just, in fact, it's exactly it's the relative error written as a percentage. So that ends up being, in this case, one point six six seven percent. Okay, so that's how we utilize um, the differential to do uh, estimation. Basically, it will say, okay, well, we want to figure out, 
you know, what's the relative error uh, on some object that we know of, that we have a function for that object? All we've got to do is utilize the differential, okay, to find that error, right? And then we have this idea of a relative error, which is a comparison of the um, error that we found divided by the whole value for whatever object that we're looking at, right? Whether it be an area or a volume or, you know, some kind of cost, whatever it is, it's in relation to uh, the value for the actual function at the point, okay? So this completes the lesson on differentials. They're, um, they can actually, they're pretty easy once you really get used to using them and get used to some of the definitions and the, and the, the language that is used around them, okay? All right.